why do bad things happen to good people? And I come to realize 95% of us, we made bad decisions. Sometimes it is based upon the decision what you make.
is there a word from the Lord? Yes, there is a word from the Lord. Get your Bible, your notepad, your pen, your pencil. Let's dig into the word. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Amen. Amen. I want to change the subject a little. Not on faith. Today, um, the Holy Spirit um, gave me something, so I said, I'll wait with this. And what I want to talk about is four ways to rewrite your story and your story and change your life. Four ways. We could be in a situation right now and you'll be asking yourself, oh God, why is this so long? Why I'm in this situation and so forth? And just want to give you four quick points. Amen? Amen? Four quick points. How to get from where you is now to, to the blessing, I could say. Amen? You all want to hear this? Yeah, go um, ahead. I realized something too with, um, just with people. I realized that um, 99, not 99, 95% of us, we're in the situation what we're in now. Or let me say it like this. Why do um, bad things happen to good people? Why do bad things happen to good people? And I come to realize 95% of us, we made bad decisions. Sometimes it is based upon the decision what you make. And then when we get put in this situation now, sometimes it's just hard. It takes a while to get out. If I overeat, if I overeat, what, it, what will end up happening is diabetes could come in and all other sorts of disease. Amen? But now, I, couldn't, I can't say, well, God did this. Who did it? Yeah, you know. I overeat, keep on eating and so forth. I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that. And then when the disease has come, now all of a sudden we won't go on the line, go on the prayer line, and so forth. So sometimes the decision, and I believe that's 95% of the time, we do things. Law. Remember the, the law? Even with COVID, COVID have a law and all. You know, it's some some rule and rules and guidelines we must abide. Amen? So when they did the investigation, they said, well, anyway, this 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 um, type of disease, you have to keep your hand clean. You have to be six feet. You see? So these are just these rules. You got the law rule. Where you see, Bill? We was talking about that yesterday. We wouldn't wear our seatbelt here in the Bahamas, but my God, let us go in the States. That's automatic. And you know, I was wearing seatbelt before that was a law. But it's the decision that we make. And now we're in this, this we in the situation. Now what to do? I'll tell you the first thing what you need to do. You need to be the first thing you need to do. I thought right this, so you have to write this. Be quick to respond. Now, first and foremost, let's go to you can go to Matthew, and I'm going to Proverbs. Matthew 9. Mark 9. Right, let me just read what Proverbs 4 say. Proverbs 4, 20. It say, My son, attend to my words. Hmm. Incline thy ears unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart for day. What? My word, eh? Our life unto those that find them and help to all of their flesh. Listen what I say, let not this depart. And you know what's so amazing? This, Mama Rose, this be the last thing we go to. This will be the last thing we go to. Do not let this depart. Do not let this depart. Something I'm, I did ask Brother Natius this morning. And he said something, you know, I ain't going to details. And then when I asked um, Minister Lisa something, her words was different from what he said. They said, you see right there? We could be going through, 
We could be going through, but you don't have to show it. And Minister Lisa could be going through, but boy, listen here. She just spoke that word. Well, stuff like that is on oh boy, that has get me. You know? And that's how we're supposed to be as be like saints. We have to be quick to respond. And I have a niece that I, I can mention, a couple of my niece. Um, we, there, we saw our niece last week, Sunday. And she made this remark. We didn't bring our phones with us. And she said, my God, I feel like you're only responsible when you don't bring your phone. That's what she said. In other words, what she made it, that's how important your phone is. But you know what I think? We don't carry our Bible, I feel like we're irresponsible. Just how, is, just how important to her, she believed that phone is, that's just how important it's supposed to be. And we go around, go around in life now, it just win. We do move away from that, from this word. And I could preach this on the hilltop and it'll still take your decision, going back to decision, it can take your decision to say, you know what, I'm going to take what this word say. Not what CNN say. Not what Facebook say. Not what the Guardian say. Or the Tribune. I don't even know if I should throw my prime minister in there, but I'm just saying why we don't go to this first? Go to this. Hosea 4, 6 said, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Now, he said some more there, but think of that. Just think of that. My people, notice something now. He did it. God didn't say he destroyed them. He didn't say the devil destroyed them. You destroy yourself when you reject knowledge. When you reject knowledge, what you're doing is you're making the decision on your own, not God. You're making the decision on your own that I can do this myself. So if you want to rewrite, if you want to change your story, the first thing you need to do is be quick to respond. Quick to respond to who? God word. Amen? And I know I say that. And I know you still can say, no, no, if, if um, this happened or if that happened, listen here. If you follow the word, death could be all around you. Psalms 91. Death could be all around you. And guess what? You have enough of this inside you. A loved one could pass away. I'm saying that. Let me use me because I don't use nobody else. And guess what? You wouldn't fall apart. You would not fall apart. Like how I see some people fall apart when they love one go. And I truly believe that's pride. My opinion, because now all you're saying, uh, well, they shouldn't go and all of that, but then other people go in. So why all of a sudden are you falling apart? Now when other people fall apart, it ain't no problem. Be selfish. Yeah. Amen? Let's be quick to respond to God's word. Quick Amen. to respond to God's word. We have to give this our attention. Our attention. Amen? Amen. Now, scripture there, I'll go to Mark 9, right? This, um, here it is, um, a gentleman's son was sick from a child, sick from a child, and he had, um, um, what scripture call him, a, a lunatic? He would throw himself, he was possessed, throw himself in the fire and so forth, and what happened, what happened was the gentleman, he asked the disciples if they could heal his son. And they couldn't do it, right? That, but in Matthew 19, that same scripture, Mark 9, it tells us why the disciples them couldn't do it. It said because of their unbelief. And a lot of that is inside us. That is inside us. Because we can be carrying this Bible... And still can have unbelief inside us. And Jesus said something. Jesus said, he called them faithless and perverse. And I look up that definition of perverse. And perverse meaning 
turn away from what is right and good. In other words, corrupt. So in other words, if we don't have this inside us, and if we have a lot of unbelief inside us, what do you think that means? in? We're corrupt because we're supposed to be seen. We're supposed to see things happening. Saints are supposed to be the ones there who down and all the sinner people, all of them so blessed, so-called blessed. And here it is, the sinners that can't scrape two cents together. So y'all, with your corrupt self, we got to get this thing right because if Jesus was with us, Jesus would call us faithless and perverse. We know what is good. Well, I know what is good. I remember I had an accent, a Hyundai accent. It's a nice car. And then I see my, my boss had a Honda Accord. Hey, Junior, which one you think better? The Honda accent? Brand new. Let me tell you like that. Brand new. Or the Honda Accord. <laughs> so, Junior, you know what good is. Now, watch it now. A Honda Accord, brand new, or a Honda Pilot. You know which one better? Hey. Our, our, our Pastor Erica know. So we know. So God know what good is. If we know what good is, I think God know what good is. Amen? And so if all of the bad people send us them living good, and the saints who got all this word, and not living like how they live, something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. Because you all know what good is. And some of us is not living a good life. But guess what? Although we're not living a good life, we can change that ourselves, but guess what? Amen, amen. We listen to our politician, and everybody looking for a hand out. I hear saints. I'm tell I'm say this, this is what they say. They say, I sell in my vote. They have to give me money. Give me what money? No. Give you what money? Christian saying this. But then if I tell them, but why you don't just believe God? Randy, you don't know what you're talking about. I used to wear one. That made me wear. And we stray away from this Bible. So we ain't quick to respond to this word. It's a scripture. I pray my son get to know well. And that's Proverbs 14. 14, 12. Your way. You might think. I'm paraphrasing it now. It might seem right to you. But yet that same way. Could be the way of death. So you could take that however you want to take that. Your way could be wrong. And I let anybody know that if you, if you can think for your own and don't get the help of other people, all you want. Listen to friends. That way could be wrong. This the right way. And like I tell them, if I didn't write the Bible, see this in me singing this. If I didn't write the Bible, Minister Lisa, I want to take that out. A lot of things they want to take out. Husband, love your wife. That was getting taken out. That's I like all the time. <laughs> that she might say the same thing to me. Thank God she didn't write the Bible. Eh? <laughs> what the first thing we have to do? Be quick to respond. Amen? Okay. So here it is. Uh, back to the, to the boy. Listen, verse 24. Verse 24. Well, anyway, let's go to um, 23. Jesus said unto him, to, to, to the man, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Right? Now listen, they say, and straightway. I look up that word straightway. Straightway is a old English word for straightaway. Or in other words, immediately. Once he heard what Jesus said, thou canst believe. So immediately he said, 
The father of the child cried out and said, Betes, Lord, I what? Believe. Now let's stop right there. The second, we have to be quick to believe. We have this word. We could quote it. We could do all sorts of stuff. We laminate it. We do all sorts of stuff. But do we believe it? Now he said, Jesus told the man, believe. He said, oh Lord, I believe. But help something else. My unbelief, eh? Now, Mark chapter 3, write that scripture down. This is Mark 3. Um, Jesus healed a gentleman with a willed hand. And, but before he healed it, this was on the Sabbath. And they asked the question, they wanted to accuse Jesus now. They wanted to accuse Jesus. They want to catch him in the act. They want to catch him good. So they could give, so they could have reason to lock Jesus up. And so Jesus asked them the question. He said, Mark 3, he said, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? And when he said that, they said they hold their peace. So they didn't respond right away. And then Jesus said something after that. He said, because of their hardness of heart. That's a part of unbelief right there. The majority of the saints, the saints, exercise with unbelief inside them. We could go to this word right now. Minister Lisa, um, she, she talked talk about um, 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 Psalms 91. But I sure, if someone start coughing in here, I sure, if someone start coughing in here, oh boy, down the belief can, you know, because what you can hear, you can hear what the doctor said. Your prime minister can come to you, or the word of the Lord can come to you. And you, you can hear, you can hear all sorts of stuff, you can hear that part, and that's the part of you right there. <laughs> that's the unbelief right there. Just saying, you know, I don't care how much I'm praise and worship I right hear. You're ready to come out. You're ready to come out through that door. Yeah. Talking real talk. That's unbelief. What you can believe? Thomas? See some of Thomas' faith. Thomas won't see um he, he will, yeah, he won't see the nail print. He will see you, you know? So we we um if we know this, I am 90% Holy Ghost. So the other 10% is just flesh. <laughs> but we don't think like that. Oh, we think flesh first. Yeah. You know? And then we like to use this, um, this term. You have to use wisdom. When you use that term, that's fed and crap it. Yeah. 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 You gotta use wisdom, yeah. Pastor Randy. If I hear that person coughing, I, I, I better go. Nah, I want you to come with your think guys an extremist now, but listen. But if we think this first, you know what I found out this is? Minister Lisa, I found out that this is the thoughts of God. This here. This ain't just the thought of God. This is the mind of Christ. And I can say that all day. I tell you, I can Preach this on the top of the roof, wherever. And this still, for some reason, would be the last thing, the last thing we believe. Here it is, you get all kind of unbelief inside you. So what you have to do, the Bible call your heart, the spirit of man, he call it the ground. So now I know stuff was in, in there. I learned about these things. I learned that, but, but just being with my parents them. Just being with them, they say weird stuff. And thank God I get saved. They wanted me saved. And then when I got saved, all of a sudden I turned crazy. I turned crazy. So all of these superstitious, I was supposed to believe. You all know those superstitious. I talk with it, but I can talk with it again. You all know those superstitious. Put brown paper on your forehead. Put that black whatever round your wrist. As a child, they being high. Well, you better use that word. And it's amazing. Be, be afraid. Be afraid of the devil. 
We are afraid of the devil because our child being in trouble and all or the baby. And then we have to turn the Bible, turn Psalms over the head. Why can't I just read it? Now, when I didn't do these stuff, what this would call me up now. I had black cloth, I had the brown paper, the Bible over my head. Now watch out. When I change, when I change, all of a sudden, I read. Well, call me red. Call me red. And listen here, if your child have black cloth, all of the power to you. But black cloth don't change nothing. Knocking on wood don't change nothing. Now wood don't have no power. The commission is, I give you power. Not the wood. And we freak ourselves right out. That's what we do. No type of power. And that's what God say. I give you the power. The tread. But no. I would have more power than what I have. The stick. You know the Bible says a gentleman going and worship the stick? He ended up getting stoned. He worship a tree. So yeah, y'all worship your stick. Where we get that from? The fables. Yeah. Gotta go, gotta go. You're doing good. I gotta go. Good. You have to be quick to believe. Yeah. Listen here. That same Mark 3. Let me tell you what all the hardness of heart is. A hardness of heart can be caused by unforgiveness, but I got to get back to that one. So Lord, us um, have unforgiveness <laughs> inside us. Worry is a sign of a hardened heart. Fear is a sign of a hardened heart, anxiety, insecurity, seeking fault with others. You all know that one? Mm -hmm. Dull, unfeeling, or unresponsive. Listen to this one. Trying to solve your own problem. The majority of us try to do it. Yes, yes, yes. We learn, we let, we lean to our wisdom, yes. not God on. Yes. Our wisdom. Yes. And to compare with God. He know it all. Yeah. He run the universe. Yes, he does. And we have a lot of hardness of heart. What is that? That, that? that To a natural person, a hardness of heart, meaning that you know, young kids, young children, you all know you all have to study to get the grade. Yeah. But you know what a hardness of heart will do? Well, no, I need to study now. But then if you don't study, how would you get to know? You can't just wait. And something about y'all young people. I love y'all now. You are so unique. You all drag. Where that come from? You all drag. You all do everything with. I mean, uh, listen here. Yeah. I know you look good. But my God, everything is slow motion. I think, you know, I, I know what happened. I know what happened. Listen what happened. We stopped getting beaten. Yeah, yeah, we, we stopped getting beaten or yeah. whatever. But listen, beaten did me well. <laughs> That's my kid. So, so now, this youth now, these youths, they, they don't get beaten. And because they don't get beaten now, we turn our children them soft. We turn them soft. Oh, I can't beat my child. No, your parents beat you. And they're going to make you a better person. We had, listen here, we had to get up to go to church. We had to. That it, me and my brother, that ain't no way fine of what? I don't know what it means to be sleeping late. My mother, my mother told my sister to say, that's son never supposed to get up and you still in your bed. That's what my mother taught us. Now watch her. She learned that principle now. All of a sudden, she, her children grow up now and she don't do nothing. We miss that. And I watch each other and they moving. Um, the word is um, stroke. Yeah, like, like a peacock, like, who, like they have to just show. But who are you showing yourself off to? It ain't God. And we just have the slow motion. Yeah. We, we. Anyway, because you can think I'm mad with you or something. The next point. The next point. 
We have to be quick to repent. What it meaning? Just to turn around. Not just, just turn around. That meaning now, do a 180. Because if I hear and I turn around, I can be right back to the same spot I am. But no, if I do it a 180, I probably doing it, and now here it is now, I change it now. Repent meaning you changing even the way you think. Amen? You be quick to repent. And you want to see a story? To just those three things so far. I know it's one more. Those three things so far. If you be quick to respond, quick to believe, and quick to repent, the Holy Spirit start doing something with the heart. The heart, the heart, yes, the, 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 the side of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now here it is, now I need the word with, which is incorruptible just to get inside me now. Yeah. And I can start doing something. Something. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you could get from where you is now to be at a place where God wants you. But I can take work. And there's two words I like. You have to be consistent and you have to be diligent. You have to be. Yes. You have to be. Last one. You have to be quick to forgive. Quick to forgive. And saints, that's one thing. It, 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 uh, <laughs> Pastor New Bowl is like, um, you offend me for some reason. I don't know why. I just can't forgive you for offending me. For some reason. And listen. God is the only being who can do the eye for an eye and the tooth for a tooth. God is the only being. He don't want us to be, be like that. And if we be like that, he put himself on our level, although he don't have to be on our level, and he said, if you don't forgive, then I won't forgive you then I won't forgive you. God said that. Amen. So it have to be a reason why he want us to forgive. Because you know what has happened? We can end up getting bitter. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bishop talk about a, a bitter woman, but my God, I see bitter men. And men, it don't look good on us. It don't look good. And some of us, when you don't forgive, you know what can happen to you? This is the only time I can take up my parents' advice. You become ugly. Sin turn you ugly. Yeah, that glow gone. That's true. And let's see, I'm an open book, y'all. Meaning that I tell you all look good, right? Oh, I have the same ability to tell you if you don't look good. Yeah. It might hurt your feeling, eh? And then watch it, our unforgiveness can come right in. Pass around, you think he has called me ugly. That light could glow. <laughs> Amen? Yeah, that light could, could, could glow. I finished, but I know I have to stop. Yeah. No, I like, no. Ain't nobody like ugly Christian. No. I, I use the word. I don't call people ugly, you know, so I tell them, oh, that fella, um, he's not nice looking at all. Yeah, I'm shiny. <laughs> He's not nice looking at all, you know? My God. When you make these four ways to rewrite your story and change your regular habit, your life will change. Remember what I said now. Be quick to respond to God's word, but be quick to respond. Be quick to believe what that word say. Then you have to what the next one is? Repent. 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 And then you have to forgive. Amen? Amen. Let's stand our feet. God is good. We're so glad you've joined us for this broadcast today. And we trust that the word of God has made an impact upon your life that will never be erased. Hey, listen, if you enjoyed this word from the Lord, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on other uh, um, um, teachings of the word of God that we put forward. Also, 
If you have any prayer requests, we'd love to stand in agreement in prayer with you. Listen, God still answers prayer. So if you have any prayer requests, please email us at the email address on the screen and let us know. We want to be praying for you. Until we meet again around the Word of God, remember, Jesus Christ is Lord and divine love. Lord.